been a little bit. What has it been? Two months since my last video? Way too long. I've been really busy with school and extracurriculars, but everything's starting to die down now and I can get some more time in for videos. We also haven't had a clear night in a solid three weeks. It's been really weird. It's been sunny all day and then it randomly clouds over all night. Today's looking like it's gonna be different. It is a cool, breezy November afternoon right now and I am ready to get a picture of the Heart Nebula in tonight. The last time I saw you guys, I was in shorts and a t-shirt and just a few days ago, we had our first snowfall here in Illinois. It was actually on Halloween, it was such a weird day. But the weather hasn't been the only thing that's been changing with the seasons. The summer and honestly most of the fall targets that I was going after and talking about in the last video are all gone. It's all about the late fall and winter constellations from now on. As I said a little earlier, I'm gonna be going after the Heart Nebula in Cassiopeia. The camera I'll be using, which is the ZWO ASI 533, has a little bit too small of a sensor to get the whole heart in there, so it'll be mainly focused on the inside part, but you'll still be able to see most of the heart structure. It's a great target for both beginners and seasoned veterans, as it's pretty bright, but there's also a lot of details to uncover as you get better. The setup's just been kind of chilling here for the past couple months, not really doing anything. I went out on a couple clear nights, but as I talked about, it clouded over pretty quickly, so it hasn't gotten a lot of action recently. I hope everything still works. A lot of you guys have been asking me when I was going to make my big return and post my next video. And I'm sorry I kept you guys waiting for so long. If there was an opportunity to image and make a video, I promise you I would have done it. But I got so many supportive comments and messages both through here and over on Instagram. So I'm really grateful for all of you guys. The way the day's been going so far, it looks like it's gonna be partly cloudy tonight. It's been on and off with the clouds the whole day, but there have been some pretty long stretches of completely clear skies. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get a much better image than I got last year for sure. I remember with last year's image, I went with a more mellow, sort of dull color look, and I really liked that look. It was one of the better images that I posted in 2022, but this year I'm gonna be going for a more vibrant look and really get those blues and pinks to pop. This video is mainly just gonna be a sort of check in with you guys and really get back into astrophotography. So if you're looking for a video on tips on how to do astrophotography, this one might not be for you. But yeah, I'm just really happy to be back out here with you guys making videos and taking pictures. Alright, it is getting to be that time. It's starting to get dark out. It's about half an hour till sunset and it is completely clear outside. As you guys know, it's been two, two and a half months since I've been out here doing astrophotography and the whole landscape has completely changed. The trees have thinned out if they haven't lost all their leaves yet. It's way cooler. It just feels very different. I really, really love this weather. End of November is my favorite time for astrophotography. I don't know why. It's just, it's so peaceful and I just love it out here. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. So my setup stays in the back corner of this yard for the majority of the year, honestly, unless there's some really unique target that I'm going to go after. It sort of just lingers back here because this is the one little spot where I have the most amount of clear skies available. I don't really like to move this set up that much. It takes a long time to get polar aligned because I can't see Polaris from where my yard is. So once it's there, I kind of just keep it there. And it happens to be that the heart nebula will be in a perfect spot for where the telescope is. So we have trees all around 
around here, but we have a gap in the trees that sort of arcs over and the heart nebula will follow that gap the whole night. So I'll be able to track it the whole night and get pictures as long as it stays clear and my stuff doesn't have any issues. These are the trees I was talking about. That's the tree that blocks Polaris right there. Cassiopeia rises through there and then goes and tucks right into that little pocket and sets there in the early morning. So we don't have a lot of clear skies uh, without any trees in this yard, but that is the main stretch and it really just arcs over that tree pretty perfectly. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how this night goes and I'll keep you guys updated. Those of you who have seen my other videos know by now that I really like talking about the weather and the environment that I'm shooting in. The big tree we have in our backyard is a honey locust, and right around now, all of its pods start falling and they break. And when those pods hit the ground and they get old and they start breaking up, the smell that they have is a very distinct one from growing up here. And we joke about how when you can start to smell the pods, you know that uh, fall is ending and winter is coming. So winter is lingering around the corner. and. I can already hear that Mariah Carey song echoing in the back of my head right now. These are the pods I'm talking about, for those of you that don't know. Um, they, they rain down on us the whole year. They're just everywhere. Our lawn just got mowed, so uh, they're not as abundant right now, but just the little things about this hobby that add together and just make it so awesome. All right, I'm going to uh, move out my telescope and get it all pointed north and balanced and get my cables sorted out. They're all over the place right now and uh, wipe everything off one more time, dust off my glass and, uh, and we'll get cooking. Of course, you gotta, you gotta have some music going. Silver bells. It's time. All right, so I got my whole thing polar aligned and focused. So it's basically all ready to go, but I am freezing and my phone is at 1%. So I'm gonna head in and charge everything and get my stuff going from inside. But check out how gorgeous it looks right now. Oh, I know that star cluster. Oh my God. Pleiades are back. There's Jupiter up there. No, it's glory. That is awesome. I had no idea. Pleiades are back. It's officially fall. So that's Cassiopeia up there. Heart Nebula is somewhere around there. It's gonna go all the way down there throughout the course of the night. But yeah, for the first time since last winter, I'm gonna head in because it's getting chilly. Um, I'll be back out here to check on everything and really just take one last look up here. But I'm gonna get going inside. You guys haven't seen this before because uh, I, the last time they came was before I started the channel but we have a pair of great horned owls that visits every winter. And it's been nine months since we've seen them last. And if you listen very carefully. That's the first one. And then there's a second one, a female a little bit further away. They're not here. Sometimes they come to the yard and then you can really see them. They're huge. Yeah, I honestly like, I would have no idea where it would be, but just to hear it is awesome. All right, it looks like it's down this block. 
That's how it's far away now. Huh? 